Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Davalos, and today we're going to work learning about contractions. Okay, first we're going to do our phrase reading, which is, means sentences. Okay, number one. Bob is a faster runner than his brother. Now, our spelling word is faster. Now, remember, the comparative that has the ER is compares to. So we're comparing Bob and his brother. We're saying that Bob is faster than the brother. Number two, the cheetah is the fastest animal, land animal. So fastest is the, the, the spelling word. And it has the E-S-T, which is, means the most fast. Because we're comparing the cheetah with all the land animals. So it's more than two. Number three, it was colder today than yesterday. The word is colder. We have the suffix er as the comparative, which means it's comparing two. Today and yesterday is comparing two days. Number four, I spend my summer in the coldest room in the house. The word is coldest, and we have the suffix est, which means the most. We're talking about the rooms. There's more than two rooms in the house. So that's why it's coldest. Number five, are you taller than your best friend? Taller is the comparative word. It has the ER, which means it's comparing two. It's comparing you and your best friend. So you're, you have the ER as in taller. The tallest tree in the forest was struck by lightning. And we know that in a forest, we're going to have more than two trees. So we have to use the comparative suffix EST, which means two, two or more. More than two, I mean. Okay, now we have phonemic awareness. I'm going to say a word and I'm going to ask you either to replace, to add, or take away. Uh, a sound. Okay, then the word is newer. Newer. Take away the n and replace it with a f. And the new word is fewer. The word is taller. Take away the t and replace it with a sm. And the new word is smaller. The word is colder colder. Take away the k. Just take it away. And what's the new word? Older. The word is slowest. Slowest. Remove the s and the new word is lowest. Now the word is snack. Snack. Take away the n and replace it with a t. Now is stack. The word is beep. Remove the b and replace it with a d. And now the new word is deep. Okay, so now we're going to review about contractions. Contractions are, sh are short words made by putting two, word two words together. Now, part of the second word, we're going to remove part of the letters. They're going to be omitted. That means remove. And we are going to replace it with an apostrophe. An apostrophe looks, looks almost like a comma, but it's on the top. Okay? Let's look at our words. Now, the second word is going to be will. That's the one that we're going to be changing. That's why I put it up there. Okay? So we have I will. So in the word will, let's say the, the word will. What's the last sound? Ugh. That's the one, the sound that we want to keep. So we're going to remove the W and the I. But when we remove that, we have to replace it with an apostrophe. And then we're going to have to put the, the, the word together to make one word. Remember, two words, put them, them into one. And now we have I'll, which means I will. You and will. Again, we look at the second word, the word will. What's the last sound? L. 
that's the one I want to keep. So we remove the W and the I, but when I do remove that, I have to replace it with an apostrophe, put the two words together, and now you have you'll, you will, you'll. Okay, again, we have we and will. We're going to look at the word will. What's the last sound? Ul. We're going to keep that. We're going to remove the W-I. But when I remove it, I have to replace it with something, which is an apostrophe. And then I have to put the two words together. And now it says will, which means we will, will. That's the contraction. Now we have they will. Again, in the word will, what's the last sound? Ooh, that's the one that we want to keep. So we're going to remove the W-I, but we have to replace it with an apostrophe and then put it together. And now the contraction word is they'll, which means that they will, they'll. Now we have he will. Again, we look at the word will. We keep the last sound, ul. We remove the W-I, but we replace it with an apostrophe and then we put it together, and now he says, he'll, which means he will. She will. Now, again, we look at the second word. We keep the last sound, ul. We remove the W-I, but we have to replace it with an apostrophe. Put the word together, and now we have she'll. She will, she'll. Now we're going to be working with, the second word is going to be have, have, have. Okay, so let's pay attention. I have, again, in the word have, have, the last sound is v, but because the, sil the E is silent, we're going to keep the E as well. So we're, we're going to take away, we're going to remove the H-A. Remember, we have to replace it with something, which is an apostrophe. Now we put the word, the two words together, and we have I've, which means I, I have, I've. Okay, now we have you have. Again, we look at the, the second word, have. What's the last sound you hear? V. But because it's silent, and we want to keep it there. We don't do anything with that one. But we do remove the H, A and we replace it with an apostrophe and then we put it together and now we have you've, you've, which means, which means you have. They have, again, we look at the word have, we keep the v, the last sound v, because the e is silent, stays there. We move the h-a, replace it with an apostrophe and then put it together as one word and now we have they've, which means they have. We have, again, we look at the word have, the last sound is v, and the e is there, so we keep it, remove the h-a, we have to replace it with an apostrophe, and then put it together, and now we have weave, which means we have, weave. Who have, again, we remove the h-a, but we replace it with an apostrophe, Put it together, who've, which means who have. Okay, now could have. Again, we look at the word have. The last sound is v. We keep that, the last sound, and, and the e is silent, so we keep that too. So we remove the h a, but when we remove it, we have to replace it with an apostrophe and then put it together to make it a contraction word. And it says could, could, which, which means could have. Now we have the uh, am, and that's only for one, one word. We can only use am when we have the I, I am. That's the only one we can use it with. So in the word am, again, what's the last sound you hear? Mm. So we could keep the m. Mm, we take out the a. Replace it with an apostrophe, just like we've been doing, and we put it together, so we say, I am, I am, which means I am. 
And that's the end of the lesson.